Hello everyone, this is Northwind here. Welcome back to Code Combat. We are continuing through what I'm assuming is the last few levels of the Backwoods Forest, and then we will continue on to the next. So let's go ahead and start here. It's called Hold the Forest Pass. Uh, an army of ogres approaches. Use flags to help the defenders. Basic syntax, arguments, variables, while loops, if statements, and input handling. Alright. So we're going to basically use the same items that we've been using before. And, uh... Code combat. Let's see. Defeat the eight ogres. Optional. Lure ogres into an ambush. Your horse must survive. This is the first time I think that we've actually had a horse. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look and see what they've, uh, what they've got for us here. Try to leave the ogres into an ambush. All right, we need to basically get them away from the horse. This is, I'm assuming, where the ambush is. Chishin. So let's take a look here. Remember to press submit so you can use flags. So use flags to join the battle or retreat. If you fail, press submit again for new random enemies and try again. You'll want to try, you want at least 300 health, if not more. So let's see what they've got set up for us here. Uh, we've got a loop going. They've declared an, a, a variable, enemy, and it's going to be the f nearest enemy. And they've declared a variable for a flag called find flag. So, if flag exists, they want us to pick up the flag. Uh, and that one is the self.pickup flag flag. So, let's do that. Self.pick. Whoop. Oh, I forgot to hit the continue button. All right. Self dot pick up flag flag. If there's an enemy, then you're going to want to self dot attack that enemy enemy that enemy. All right, uh, and of course we are going to want to probably draw the people into the uh, the area here. So let's. Uh, I mean, this is fairly simple. Let's give it a let's give it a shot. All right. Start with the green flag. Novesty. Oh, oh, right. oh. No idea what's going on here. I'm actually apparently caught. I think I'm actually might be dying. Get out of here. Yep, I died. Okay, well, let's learn not to do what we just did. All right. Get a flag. We're going to... Novesty! Go here. Novesty! All right, excellent. Go back up. Grab more. One more time. All right, there we go. Another wave here. There we go. Uh oh. Oh no, the horse died. Oh, that kind of sucks. We were so close. I didn't catch the sorcerer. All right, well, let's do it one more time. I think we pretty much got this. Novesty. Novesty. I might actually be dying. I died. Ah, oh, this is a little bit harder, mainly just because it it involves actually having input on our Novesty. end here. All right. Alright. Come on. Bring the guys down here. Wow, this is incredibly difficult. 
Alright, um, do I at least have cleave? Maybe if I had cleave it'd be a little bit easier. I do have cleave. Alright, so let's, um, let's actually create another one here. Uh, if, uh, is, get that out of here. If, I'm kind of forgetting how this actually goes. So, self dot is ready, cleave, yeah, self dot is ready, cleave, then, uh, don't forget the colon there, then uh, self dot cleave enemy, uh, else, and then we're gonna, one, two, three, four. All right, so, this will give us a little bit more survivability. Um, Yeah, I mean, we'll give it a shot. Novesty. All right, so we're gonna go all the way up here. Whoop. <coughs> Draw these guys down here. I'm gonna head back up here. Oh, come on. Mutation. Uh, dead. All right. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think the code is solid. I just think this is just me failing to. Uh, this is just me failing to be fast enough. It'd be nice if I had the ability to heal. Oh. I think what I need to do is just kind of stay out of the way. Novesty. Why doesn't anyone want to fight with me? Novesty. Oh, stay out of the way. Passion. All right, let's get back up here. I think. Might actually be able to do it this time. Yes, excellent. Like I said, the code was fine. I just think it's me failing to place these flags where they need to go. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. We're done. Continuing. <laughs> so what's the next one? Drop the flag. Uh, use the flags to position traps interactively. Uh, arguments, strings, variables, while loops, if statements, input handling. Uh, double clip the sword. I'm, I'm assuming, actually, it looks like we need the trap thing, so. All right. Defeat all the ogres with traps. Collect all the coins. Uh, before using pickup flag, use build XY to build a fire trap at the flag's position. Uh, a coin is like a flag. It has a position. Use the coin position uh, to move XY to collect them. Alright, so we got to collect all the coins, defeat all the ogres using traps. Alright, so put flags where you want to build traps. When you're not building traps, pick up coins. So, declare a variable for flag self find flag so how do we get flag x and flag y from the flag x's position look below at how to get x and y from items all right so let's see what it is find nearest item you should be able to get the position that way And I wonder if I find flag, uh, the given color, if color specified returns one of your flags, regardless of color, if the three flags are green, black, and violet. So flag.position.x, flag.position.y. Okay, so this basically says, uh, 
build a fire trap at flag X, flag Y, and pick up that flag. Uh, item position, item X, was items X position, item Y position, self, move X, Y to the position of the item, which is going to be this, uh, I guess, the nearest item that comes up. So that's not going to be the flag. So basically, we just have to find out how to cut the X and Y of the flag. All right, so let's take a look here. One of these is going to have it, so once I get code set up, I'll be right back with you. All right, it looks like it's all spelled out in this right here. So the flag position X, flag position Y, uh, doesn't really matter if it's uh, if it's set up to be specific color. So I can just say if flag, which is already done, then uh, uh, self dot build x y self dot build x y fire trap. Make sure that that has to actually be separated like that. Yeah, fire, trap, and then flag dot position x, flag dot position y, comma, flag dot pos y, and then get rid of these variables, and then double check that to make sure that there's nothing else uh, that needs to be added to it, and then pick up the flag. So. This will do that if a flag exists. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. Let's actually make sure that this is all good to go. Um, they already included it. I don't need that in there since I wrote it out myself. I don't see anything else wrong with this. I'm not 100% sure this will work, but we're going to give it a shot. So we're going to try. Determine which one is actually coming out first. There. And uh, the next one is going to be down here. And then this one here. Alright. Who's after this? Up top again. Alright, once this guy dies, we're going to have to run quick. Ow, ow, oh, I can't get it. Oh. Ow, ow, battle scars. Again, so freaking close. And it's just me failing to place the flags in the right place. Is this random, by the way? I'm really curious. Is it, is it? No, maybe it isn't. We'll see. if Does it come down here? Nope. It is kind of random. Alright. We're going to do the exact same thing. Wow, they're really testing me, aren't they? No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. I think it helps them a little bit faster than them. Is that it? That's it. Excellent. All right. Excellent. All right, let's see how long we've been going here. It looks like we've been going for about 15 minutes. I know that wasn't very many levels, but... You know, some of these levels are a little bit more complicated than others. So let's kind of end it there, and then I will finish up, I believe, the entire section here in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.